Hello. <clears throat> On my previous video a few hours ago, I did an unboxing of a Funky Yes that I ordered back in April and came today. Well, I'm back a few hours later because over these past few hours, I was, uh, I was adding to the system all my favourite games that I wanted to play. Well, some that I've played in real life and some that I've played on emulators back when I had a Windows XP. And also, I did say I was going to change the colour button scheme and I've done so. But first, here's the case I ordered for it. It's one of those AirPod cases. And of course, I did install a firmware update which fixes a few bugs with certain games. I know this case is a bit big, but it's all I could find. Maybe I'll look for a more smaller, suitable one for the Funky S later. Now, here is, here's the custom control scheme I went for. I went for the Super Nintendo, the SNES, or some people call it the SNES. There's only like half percent power because I played a bit earlier. My only gripe about this is that the battery doesn't really last too long, but that's to be expected from something this tiny. And the fact that the battery is almost bigger than this whole control pad here. And of course, this is one of the download, this is one of the themes you can download from the official Funky Wiki. Obviously, I'm going to make my own, but I just thought I'd have a look at what other people have made so it gives me more of an idea. So first, let me give you a sample of a Game Boy game. Let's try everyone's favourite, Super Mario Land. This is only just a bit of a play test because I want to try and cover. All, I want to try and cover all of them before to, my, my battery runs out. My sister used to play this. I think that's enough for the Game Boy. Let's try a Game Boy let's try a Game Boy Color game next. This one, Wario Land 2. Oh, I already played a bit, so it's just pretty much skipped to a cutscene. Once again, I apologise for the blurry quality. Like I said, I'm only just showcasing what the games look like on here. Now here's one of the first Game Boy Advance games I used to play, Ed and Eddie Jawbreakers. I'm not going to lie to you, but this game is pretty difficult. There's also a bit of another gripe regarding GBA and PS1 games. Unfortunately, there's a lot of them that aren't compatible with the Funky S. I already stated in my pre previous video some examples.
<laughs> I can remember on the fourth level when it was really difficult. There was like this big, there was like this precise jump, and if you get it wrong, you pretty much just waste like half the level trying to get up there. So overall, I kind of like how you can easily how you can easily get a grip on this. Despite how tiny the buttons are, I'm surprised that you can actually hold them so well, including the shoulder buttons as well. Like I said, so I'm not scrolling through a lot, but as you can tell, the battery drains pretty quickly. Let's try a Sega Genesis game. Hmm. Why not? It is Sonic's 30th anniversary after all this year. So let's see how smooth it runs. As you can tell, normal games on, on normal games on this from around the nineties work pretty well. But what do you say we try the, the PlayStation games now? There we go. And I'll go for one of my favourites, which is Ridge Racer. The best thing about this game is you can actually resume when you're left off. So if you quit the game, you can just jump back, jump straight back into where you were. See, as you can tell, the quality of the PlayStation, game, PlayStation games on this is terrific. As far as I can remember, Ridge Racer was literally the first ever PlayStation game. It's just a shame that there's no Ridge Racer sequel for PS5. But yeah, here's my, this was my review video of the Funky S and how all the games play. If you ask me, this is actually a very superb and entertaining system. The battery life may be light, but it, but it makes up for, for the huge variety of games you can add to this. And also themes as well. 
Overall, I recommend this. I recommend this as a Christmas present or for someone's birthday. And trust me, kids will love it, especially those with smaller fingers to hold the thumbs, because this is how big adult fit. This is how big adult thumbs are. But yeah, thank you for watching my interview with this. <clears throat> But yeah, I like how this game is all freeware and you can add what you want. Aside from just adding a few files just to get the games, just to get your get favourite games and all that jazz started, it's really, it's really worth it in the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully in my next video it will be the Horizon Chase Turbo Expansion Pack. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to run out of juice soon so I'll end it right here. Bye.